now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. And by Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, April 11th. I'm Christina Baer. Sparta residents raise concerns after the township proposes a new warehouse. The topic dominating the latest town council meeting. Tap into Sparta publisher Jennifer Derricks has the story. The room itself was in, at capacity and then out what you couldn't see out in the vestibule, the entryway, they had two big screens set up. There are probably at least a hundred, if not more people, really shoulder to shoulder standing uh, watching what was going on on the video screen. Has this happened before at one of these meetings with this many people? Normally I'm the only one in the room. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. It's, I guess it's nice to have company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. But what was the reason for why did all of these people feel the need to show up? The planning board is here, is holding hearings on a warehouse. Um, and I'm going to use that term generically because there is a question about what actually the definition is of this facility, mm -hmm. but they see this huge project. So I've used the explanation or the descriptor that it's this, if you took the footprint of the Rockaway Mall, added the high school in, you still have more square footage in this warehouse. It's 36 acres of impervious coverage, 18 acres of building. Um, 191 truck bays, uh, anticipated, according to the developer's own traffic study, 1,400 trips a day. They have been coming to council meetings. The first planning board hearing on this was held via Zoom, and there were hundreds of people on that meeting just on Zoom. So what's the next steps now? Are they going to move ahead with this warehouse? Is it still sort of kind of in limbo? Right now, they're in the, pre they're in the um, site plan application phase the preliminary site plan application. Uh, two of the people that spoke at the meeting are attorneys that live in town who are representing the community members. They've come together in a grassroots group called uh, Sparta Responsible Development. And they are making the legal case that this is in fact not a warehouse, but a trucking transit station or some type of um, other use and therefore should not get the consideration as a warehouse, which um, gives them a, an easier path to approval. Planning board members continue to say they haven't made a decision. They have to hear all the testimony, which is what they have to say legally. I understand that. But there also is this application at the zoning that hopefully will get the attention that it needs as well. And before, before it goes too far down the road and the community members' voices are heard. I mean, I... I have yet to encounter anybody who is not connected with the project who is supporting the project, anybody who lives here. To follow the latest on the story, head to tap into Sparta. Environmental testing at Colonia High School is moving forward. The town council awarded an emergency contract to a Middletown engineering firm to do an intensive radiological assessment at the high school. Tap into Woodbridge Carteret has been following the story of Al Lupiano, a 1989 graduate turned environmental scientist who raised concerns after nearly 100 former students and staff are diagnosed with brain tumors, possibly linked to the school. A long-awaited groundbreaking in Bayonne. City leaders donning hard hats and shovels to signal the conversion of the former St. Andrews School. Tap into Bayonne reports the town will create a new two-story state-of-the-art learning public school for students in its place. Up next, a cafe for our four-legged friends coming to Westfield. Welcome back. A Westfield restaurant plans to dedicate some of its space for four-legged family members. Tapita Westfield reports that 1958 Cuban Cuisine aims to create a doggy cafe by converting a portion of its outdoor sidewalk cafe into one specific for pets, complete with a doggy menu. Dogs that visit will have to be well-trained and be up to date on vaccinations. To receive your local news from Tap Into in your inbox every day for free, sign up at tapinto.net slash enews. Thank you for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, brought to you by Lakeland Bank and Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council.